Now, whose suggestion was it to have the meeting at your home? It was his. Uh, he said he was very pressed for time and that he didn't want any distractions. Mm -hmm. So, Mr. Kiley. I tried to present both sides of the story, and believe me, that wasn't easy, considering I can't stand what Miss Nash is doing to Vanessa. Ross, I really think you and Vanessa held your own. You should feel really good about the testimony. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, final version? Yes, that's the master tape. Julie did a wonderful job. It's clear, it's balanced. It's amazing, considering all the innuendos coming from Rebecca Nash. Mm. Well, of course, Vanessa's face will be obscured by the blue dot when it airs. And her voice will be altered. Well, no. Why not? I, I decided promised that Vanessa we would do everything we could to protect her identity. Yes, but the other stations will be airing our footage with her real voice. It's just not customary to disguise a victim's voice, even I in don't Rachel. care. Change it. Honey, I can't. It's done. You should have come to me. Listen, Holly, changing it really wouldn't have made a difference. We've got to air this story. I know. I know. I'm just thinking about Vanessa, watching it on TV, reliving it. It's got to be hell for her. I never make decisions based on what other stations are doing. And I hope the other stations follow our lead and not try to sensationalize this story. Oh, dream on, Julie. Rebecca's designed this for the tabloid press. Anybody can see what she's up to. Yes, if she were playing the heavy. But well, she's she... too smart to be doing that. The jury's not buying it. I can sense it. I've been watching them. Ooh, hope mm. you're right. In fact, I wish you were on the jury. <laughs> well, we've got time till air. Why don't we all have a change of scenery? Good idea. Right? Dinner? Nah. Uh, <laughs> no, I have a lot of work to do before tomorrow. Actually, I was hoping to find out how you're going to handle Fletcher's testimony. Oh. Aren't you supposed to remain impartial? Just the logistics, Blake. I could always give Ms. Nash equal time. Well, maybe I do have time for a quick bite. Great. Pasta at my place. Okay, that's the way we'll have time. Things will be quiet. Sounds good. Bye, girl. Bye. 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 Well, you'll have to excuse me, Blake. I need to work in here. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, see you tomorrow. Hmm. Okay. Yes. Uh. So what's the worst that could happen? <sighs> the worst? Rebecca could undercut Fletcher's testimony, make it sound like Fletcher interrupted this friendly and consensual romp on the bed. Oh, he won't let himself be... Led into that? Uh, you've seen the lady at work. May I have one of those? Mm. Thank you. I'm sorry. It's nice to see you not working. Sometimes it seems like that's all we do. Since when do you like beer? Since I developed a taste for it. You always used to hate beer. Well, things change. People change. Maybe they just come full circle. What does that mean? I don't know. I'm just talking. Oh, it's been such a long day. Holly, is it painful for you to watch this trial? Sometimes. And you? No. I'm so caught up in the details and the minutia and who's scoring what points when. But still, that's not quite true. I watched you at the station looking at the testimony. It gets to you. Well, no one else would notice it. I try not to let it get too personal. If it does, it muddies my thinking, and then I don't want to start making mistakes. You don't. You're not in court now. Oh, hi. You're still here. Yeah. Well, don't let me bother you. to have the meeting at your home. It was his. Uh, he said he was very pressed for time and that he didn't want any distractions. <gasps> so Mr. Turn Scott, it off. Made this please, please, I know how it ends. Did this strike you as a... Oh, I still wish Jilly would have disguised her voice. Holly, 
Now, anybody who's met her, half of Springfield's gonna know who that is. Think about it. Julie has a good point. We cannot be the only station on the air disguising her voice. There's just so much we can do to protect the mess. Now, look, I know that uh, a good friend of yours, a friend of mine, is going through hell. But yet, I think you've done an exceptional job reporting this. It's very, I very well done. you have done an exceptional job in the courtroom. You've been so in control, so dignified. The whole jury is with you. I know it. Oh, there's this one guy. First row, uh, third from the left. And I can tell that Nash is really getting to him. If I were you, tomorrow, look him right in the eye. Oh, very astute. I think I'll do that. Thank you. Have a good run. Thank you. Oh, why don't I get some ice cream? Doesn't that sort of defeat the purpose? I like to reward myself. Ross, what, what flavor do you want? Honey, we haven't even d eaten dinner yet, and we can't think about dessert. All right. I'll surprise you. I won't be long. I think he's out back somewhere. Oh. He'll be back in just a minute. I know. I, I'm just in a hurry. Ew. So I think. <laughs> Blake, what are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm getting ice cream. Oh, really? Does Frank know about this? Um, Frank and I are friends. Well, Frank and I are friends, too. And, and Frank really likes Michelle. Hey, Michelle, come here. Bridget. What? The waitress is in here. She quits, so we're helping him out, you know? Come on, we're going to make our own Sunday. Is this okay? Sure. We're paying customers. Oh, uh, are, are you done with your water? <laughs> Help yourself, Blake. Thanks. Uh, what are you doing? Jogging. Where was fun. Dylan, what are you doing? You hear what's... No, but when a woman says no, she means no. Why is that so hard for a man to understand? Some men can't. I guess. Oh, you must be so sick of this. Sick of what? Oh, I don't know. Being a lawyer, dealing with people who are in trouble all the time. Is that why you're running for senator? That may be part of it, yeah. But becoming a senator, though, that won't make me immune to it. But you do so much good as a DA right here and now. Does this mean you're not going to vote for me? <laughs> if you run for senate, I will vote for you, and I know you will be terrific, but we will miss you. Don't count my eggs until I scramble them all. Hmm. How's your life working out? Oh, can't complain. I, I, I feel I am at one with myself. <laughs> Is that painful? <laughs> <laughs> no, I, um... No, it's all right. I, I feel like I'm at least on the right track. I could have sworn I heard a car pull out. Funny. No. I hope you like Leonard Pecan. As a matter of fact, it's his favorite. Oh. His favorite. <laughs> it's amazing how one. Yeah. I'll get the dishes for you. Sorry, no, it's all right. Just leave it. So what time does the trial start up tomorrow? Ten o'clock, sir. Mm. Oh, man, look at the time. What? It's already that late. It's not that late. It is, if you've got a lot of work to do, and I want to get a good night's sleep. Listen, thank you for tonight. Thanks for the ice cream. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you.